Yo what's up everyone, I hope you're having a great day, so in this video I'm going to teach you how you can get better FPS and reduce FPS stutters. This video has been the most requested by my comments, so if you'd like me to make a video for you or you just have a question, let me know down with a comment. So for this video I'm going to first cover how you can optimize your windows and nvidia settings Then after that I'm going to go over what is the best in game settings you need to be using to get much better fps Most of these tips and tricks are used by pro players so I know for a fact they're going to help you with getting better fps If this video is helpful all I ask is that you subscribe and leave a like to let me know that it helped Now let's get right into this video Okay, so you can spend hundreds of dollars on a gaming PC, but if you don't optimize the settings correctly, you can be missing out on hundreds of dollars of performance. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up, just have your PC on, and we're gonna go down to, to the bottom left corner, to the search bar, and we're gonna type in update. It should be the first thing that pops up, and then once you click it, you can go ahead and open it, and then hit check for updates. Whenever Microsoft uh, uh, brings a new update to Windows, it makes the past update or the the old version of your Windows run like terrible because it's going to give you a bunch of FPS drops. I don't know why this is, but you will always want to be checking for updates. If you do have a lot of FPS drops, this is what helped me because whenever I bought my PC, I got it like two months ago. I had like terrible FPS drops, so I went ahead and I updated my windows and Then we can back out and then we're gonna type settings Go ahead and open that up and we're gonna go to system We're gonna go to notifications and make sure notifications are off Notifications can give you upwards to 30 more FPS when they are turned off and if you do want them on then you can go to certain things like you can um, go and turn on specific apps for notifications. Say you want YouTube notifications, you can turn on those notifications yourself. It also, also will make you tab out a lot if you are playing. And then after notifications, we're going to go down to focal assist, make sure that one's off too. Then we're going to go down to storage. Make sure that you have free storage up because most people don't realize this but if your storage is full it's a lot of stress on your computer because it's going to cause your computer to be like constantly searching for empty storage to like in case you need uh, clips or something and your PC is going to use a lot of your CPU power just for that so make sure that you have free storage because that allows you to get much more uh, imp uh, input delay and also FPS for multitasking I just recommend having them both off okay so now we're back at the settings tab we're gonna go to gaming and we're gonna go to game bar Turn game bar off because it can actually give you a lot more input delay because it automatically records your clips, screenshots, and is able to broadcast your gameplay. So this is how, like having an extra streaming thing, like you know how you have stream labs. It's like having stream labs open the entire time you're playing. So you want to turn that off because it can give you a lot of input delay. Then for captures, I turn all that off because if you do have a uh, NVIDIA graphics card, you can use Shadow Play to capture your gameplay. Or you can also use Streamlabs or something like that to record. Or if you don't even record, just have it off because it gives you a lot of input delay. Then game mode, you want to test this. I like game mode for my PC. I feel like lower specs, they give better FPS and stuff. But um, if you have higher specs, I'd probably turn it off. And then for Xbox networking, you don't need to worry about that if you're not playing Xbox games. Alright, so now we're done with the actual Windows settings. But if you do have an NVIDIA dra graphics card, you want to go ahead and you want to right click. And then you want to click on NVIDIA control panel. Then you're going to pull that up. And you want to do adjust your uh, image settings. You want to do use my 3D advanced 3D image settings, and then you want to make sure that you have um, 
your quality set to performance on high and then we're going to go to manage suiting settings and you just want to make sure you turn all of these off except the one things that I do have on like uh, Coda with GPUs that's really good for Nvidia GPUs so you want to have that on but make sure you have all of these off and you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to make sure you have power management set to max performance because that's going to allow you to get much better fps because you'll be using your entire pc's battery and stuff like that and then with texture filtering and shader cache turn those on and then also with texture filtering turn that one on too and then with texture filtering have it at high performance because quality doesn't really matter all we care about is performance just make sure you copy all of these settings correctly and then okay and then now you want to make sure that you have your gpu so i have a 1650 is corrected to your monitor and i have a scepter m25 monitor so you want to make sure that you have it um put correctly you don't want to have your cpu because that's going to use your integrated graphics card you want to make sure you have your gpu you want to hit apply okay so now we're going to go down to display and we're going to make sure that you have your refresh rate to the refresh rate of your monitor mine is 165 hertz so i'm going to keep that and then you're going to look at the qualities so if you have a 1080p um if you have a 1080p monitor make sure that you have it at 1080p if you have it a lot lower it can uh make you get screen tearing and your fps can drop a lot so that's why you want to use it as your native thing um adjusting desktop display and colors and stuff that is all preference i use a digital vibrancy of 75 because that makes colors stand out so like with shadows and darker things like that skins will stand out with the shadows so I, that's why i use it at 75. okay and so now we're done with the nvidia control panel so i'm gonna close out of that and then now we're gonna go back down to the search bar and if you have an nvidia graphics card you want to type in geforce you can just type in GE and GeForce Experience is going to pop up. So you want to click on that, wait for it to load. I'm going to drag it over. And now that that's loading, this is basically it's your um, drivers and the experience that your graphics card uses. So we're going to go over here to drivers. And we're going to check for updates. So drivers are released basically uh, once a month or sometimes even two times a month. So that's why you want to check a lot because you want to have the most up-to-date driver because that allows you to get much better and stable FPS. Okay, and now that I have it, I have the latest installed driver. I can go ahead and close out of that. Okay, so now that we have the best PC optimized and everything, we're going to go to our in-game settings and we're going to make sure that we're playing on full screen. Full screen is going to allow you to never tab out again and it also gets you better FPS. And we're going to play on 1920 by 1080p because that is normal for most gaming monitors. And then we're going to cap our refresh rate or our FPS at the refresh rate of our monitor. This allows you to be able to see all the FPS you're actually getting. Then with colorblind mode for this season, season 5, there is no best colorblind mode. So what I recommend doing is not even using colorblind mode. And there's something I'm going to talk about later on that's actually way better than colorblind mode. But um, you want to go ahead and you want to go down and you want to have your textures on high and your build rendering distance on near. Textures on high allows you to actually use your GPU because normally your GPU is not being used when you play Fortnite. We want your GPU to be used because it allows you to get better FPS and take some of the strain off of running Fortnite from your CPU and putting it down on the uh, GPU. Then uh, you want to make sure that you are using performance mode. Right now performance mode is the best direct X moment, uh, direct X variant 
for F for Fortnite. All the pros are using DirectX performance mode because they can see in storm and then they also get god tier fps plus they get very little um input delay so every pro is using performance mode right now and so should you if you get the mobile graphics that means you just need to upgrade from 8 gigs of ram to 16 gigs of ram so that's what i recommend doing if you get like hard mobile graphics but for everything else performance mode just takes over so i just i would just let performance mode do its thing because that gets you a lot of fps just like that all right boys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope it was really helpful and i'm sorry it was so long um if you do like videos like these or like about pc like optimizing and stuff like that just let me know down in the comments because uh, i can do a lot more about them because i do know a lot about pcs surprisingly even though i just switched to pc so thank you for watching the video throughout the entire thing and just comment down um optimize and to let me know that you watched the entire video through thanks for watching the video and peace out guys